Okay, in order to make the almond milk, I am taking raw organic almonds and I'm putting them in a glass container. This happens to be a glass measuring cup, but I'm putting them in the glass and they'll sit there. You put the towel on top, but first you have to clean them because there's some brown residue on it right now. So I'm going back and forth about five times and putting filtered water and straining it about five times before I begin the soaking process. And you'll want to soak them for about 48 hours and every eight to 10 hours, you'll want to clean them because they get, they will get like a white moldy residue on them as they sit in the water. So you'll want to clean them about eight to 10 hours. This water from the refrigerator is filtered, so that's okay to clean them with that. What I'm doing is I'm filling up the measuring cup with water and then I'll let it sit for a few seconds and then I'll strain it into the, I'll, I'll pour them into the strainer um, and, until the brown residue is off of the almonds. And you can kind of see um, the brown, maybe you can't, but once I pour it you will see it. Um, so I'm just letting it sit in the water for a few seconds here. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm going to pour it. You might start seeing the residue. Yeah, see the brown. I'm trying to get a feel for that brown. It's getting better though because I've already strained it about three times. So this is probably. That's pro yeah, so you can see a little bit of the brown left. That's what comes from the almonds, um, from the peel. So that's what I'm trying to get off of that. But it should be good now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the measuring cup and fill it with water and then put a towel over it um, so this way it can soak for the uh, next 48 hours. But again, every 8 to 10 hours, I will strain it maybe once or twice, just to get the uh, white residue off. Okay, I've filled it up with water. Now I'm gonna take it over here. Sorry, that's getting a little bit dark. Okay, sorry about the lighting here, but I'm gonna, that's the almonds, and they're soaking in the water, and the filtered water, make sure it's filtered. And now I'm going to just cover it up. It'll stay covered for about 48 hours, but again, I'll uncover it and take it to the sink, drain out the water, and strain it with filtered water, uh, maybe once or twice. And um, then I'll put it back under the towel, and I'll do this in, for about 48 hours. Okay, so I'm going to make some almond milk. Um, these are soaked. They've been soaked for about... 48 hours, maybe a tiny bit more, maybe, I don't know, 49 hours. Um, I was a little bit late, but in any case, uh, 48 hours is sufficient. Um, and how you can tell is the peel, you can see the peel is already starting to fall off that almond over there. Um, but see, it'll come off very easily, it'll slide off very easily, and the peel is good. So um, you want the peel, it has a lot of enzymes in the peel, but you need the peel soft. Uh, this will help your digestion and it has a lot of good benefits, um, soaked almonds. So you can Google that. You'll find out that uh, almonds are very healing to the body when they're soaked. So I'm gonna do that and I'm going to, um, I put probably about a cup and a half of almonds and I'll put probably about, I'm gonna say two cups of filtered water and then I'll blend it together and that will make me milk. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, a little bit of honey, some turmeric, make a good, uh, good nutrient, nu good nutritious milk. Okay, here comes the blender. <laughs> Okay, 
it off and add some ice now, make it nice and cold, and then I'm gonna put some turmeric, cinnamon, and a little bit of honey.